All right, hey everybody, so welcome back to Jim Bob's Garden. So today we're gonna to talk about is what to do with old potting soil. Now, um, so I have plants that have been in pots for years. Same potting soil, and you can just keep adding fertilizer to it. But you know me, I don't like spending money on fertilizer and all that crap. So what I do is I refresh it, I reuse it, and uh, you can use this in more pots, you can put it in your garden, mix it in with your regular dirt, you can do whatever you want to with it. But it really tends to be some good stuff. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you this here. Come here, check this out. So this is an old wheelbarrow, and it's perfect because it, it has cracks in the bottom. And what happens, because I leave this sit outside, is when it gets rained on, obviously it can become, you know, just a mud hole. Hello, Murph. Come here, Murph. Huh? Oh, no, I want to get petted by her first. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Come here, Murph. Come here. Knock. 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 Okay, now go home. Go home. All right. So anyway, sorry about that. Neighbor's dog. Who loves me? Yeah, you know, I'm a friend of plants and animals alike. What do you think about that? Like anyway. a Disney princess. Yeah. What's that? Like a Disney princess. Just like a Disney princess. Only not as pretty. I don't think they have scruff on their chin. Well, I don't know. Some of them might. You never know. I was about to say, they probably do. <laughs> anyway. So what I do is I reuse it, all right? Obviously, you know, I paid money for it. I'm not gonna throw it away. Why would you throw away dirt? I mean, dirt is good stuff. So what I'll do is I'll take all this and I'll dump it uh, in my wagon. This pot is done. So I'm just gonna go in the trash. And let's see here. You can see I got a lot of roots in here and all that, which is great because it'll rot down. And look, baby worms. All right, and that's the really cool thing. For some reason, I get more worms um, in my back patio than I seem to out in the garden. So that's kind of nice, all right? So I'll take that one, mix it in, take this one. Oh, look, look at that. Look at all them worms. Look at that. Yeah, baby. Man, they're all over in this one. Well, they liked it in this one. All right, now, I will tell you that when you got a pot like this, all right, this is a tomato plant that died in the summer heat. You don't want to just leave the roots in here, all right? You want to take them out. And it primarily weed roots is the issue. Oh, look, lizard egg. Hopefully you'll live. All right. So you take the, the weeds and the roots out. That's why I left this one like that. All right, get the biggest chunk out. Then I'll take this and I'll pour it in here. And then particularly the dollar, uh, dollar weed roots, because they get crazy. Now, are dollar weeds bad for your garden, somebody asked me? I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, they don't like take over. Some roots make a big old root ball um, that's really hard for other plants to basically penetrate and, and get sustenance from. But dollar weeds kind of stringy and long, so I really don't think it's an issue. All right, so now we're going to take this over here and let me show you what I do with the rest of it. All right, so... Now this is my compost pile. This compost has been here several months. Um, it was at one point as big as that, and it has shrunk down to this. So that is well composted compost, all right? And I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna mix that in with my regular dirt here. Now how much, you say? How much should I put in there? Well kind of depends um, how much do you got For one and two um, you know do you really want to mix it heavy I mean how long has this soil been in the pot do you think it's pretty much depleted um, if it is you probably want to put more if it isn't then you know just throw some in now I got worms in there so 
So that's going to help feed whatever I put in. And you'll notice that this has got a lot of that charcoal in it. And charcoal is great because it not only holds nutrients and uh, life, but it also will hold water. And I know a lot of people will put perlite and all that crap in there. But you got to buy that. I try not to buy much of anything if I don't have to. String. You can never have too much string. That'll eventually write down. That's cotton string. So now, if you're going to use this right away, you probably want to mix this in real well. If you're not, then you may want to just let it sit on top and let the rain hit it and then wash the nutrients down into the soil. Kind of up to you. I'm going to go ahead and mix mine a little bit. And how much you got to mix it, well, that's up to you. I mean, got lots of good stuff in here. So, and like I said, this is a first year for this dirt, I believe. I'm not sure. Something like that. All right, there you go. Now I've got a full wheelbarrow full of refreshed potting soil. All right? It's really all there is to it. Don't throw away your potting soil. I don't throw much of anything away if I don't have to. All right? So... Now, uh, give it some thought. Decide if it's something you want to do, but I highly recommend it. Like I said, you got some worms in there now. I got some charcoal in there now. I got some compost in there now. I got potting soil that's uh, still got a lot of stuff to rot down and break down. That's why there's so many worms in it. So it should be a mosquito. Uh, <laughs> it should be really good soil to plant your plants in um, for the fall or for the spring. All right, that's what I got going on today. I know it's been a while since I made videos. We're going to get back into it and start actually doing things. Um, the weather's cooled down now, so I can actually start getting things growing. Uh, the key for me is when you start having nights in the 60s. High 60s is fine, but as long as you see a 6 in that first number, um, normally speaking, that's a good time, to, in my opinion, to start actually planting your plants for fall. All right, thanks once again for stopping by. Do me a favor, give me a like and a subscribe. Let me know what you think, but most importantly, grow something. Grow something in your yard, and don't throw away your old dirt. Dirt's good stuff. Keep it. All right, thanks once again. Y'all come back and see me.